There's a lot of hand-eye coordination moving as well. Once a month, these elementary students spend the afternoon working with circuit boards, connectors, computers, and all sorts of technology. Get the bottom ones We are trying to make uh, this little device right here program the computer. This is one of the most popular clubs at Mitchell Nielsen Elementary in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. The STEM club, as in science, technology, engineering, and math. For me, math and science, like, you use it almost everyday life and basis. So if you don't use it every day, kind of, you lose it. So I just want to get better at it. That's precisely what teacher David Lockett, who leads this group, wants for all students in Tennessee. An opportunity to engage with STEM, not just during extracurricular activities, but in everyday classwork. It gives them a different perspective and a different idea of how they can approach a problem. They look at the hypothesis, they look at the steps and their method, and from there they have a bigger picture and they can intertwine that into their real world studies. Lockett teaches all sixth grade subjects, but he has always had a passion for science and finds a way to bring STEM into his classes, even English and history. He also directs a statewide STEM camp program to reach students far beyond his classroom with the help of several universities. So students from the neighborhoods and the communities can see STEM as I see it. They can see it as hands-on. They can see engineers come in. They can take field trips. So they can see the, the bigger picture. Such efforts reflect a growing push in Tennessee to increase STEM instruction for middle schoolers and girls in particular who are underrepresented in STEM professions. A multi-million dollar grant recently awarded to Nashville Public Schools will fund a program called Grow STEM, which stands for Girls Realizing Opportunities with STEM. We want them to see how STEM is a big part of every career so they can see how it's multifaceted. His hypothesis is working for students like Vanessa. She's decided to become an FBI agent, due in part to the STEM club. Because in crime shows, they use a lot of like all different types of skills and then they do it into one team. So like you have to have like a science background kind of like to use all these medicines and chemicals that they use to see what happens. For the Southern Education Desk, I'm LaTanya Turner, Nashville Public Television. The Southern Education Desk and American Graduate are made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.